डियर स्टूडेंट्स आज हम नेक्स्ट वन एक्ट प्ले डिस्कस करने जा रहे हैं और वो है स्मोक स्क्रीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे स्मोक स्क्रीन्स धुए के पर्दे मैन हैव स्क्रीन्स ऑफ स्मोक ऑन देयर पर्सनैलिटी दे डू नॉट अपीयर वट दे आर इन रियलिटी दे हाइड देयर रियलिटी सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस first of all the title of this play the title is smoke screens dhue ke parde yani insaan jo hai ye apni shakhsiyat ke upar parde dale hue hai wo wo nazar nahi aata jo wo hai aur wo wo nazar aata hai jo wo nahi hai so in this play the screens of hypocrisy the screens of but on personality are presented there are four types of screens which are presented in this play first of all we have the screens of appearance people appear what they are not they appear what they are not they do not appear what they are they hide their reality so we see that this type of screen is presented in the character of charles charles is the husband ex husband of lucy in this play we have lucy lucy we have the daughter of lucy primrose and we have the sister of lucy susan so these are three main characters in this play however we have first of all the screen of appearance which is presented in this play and this is relating to our title smoke screens pehli kism ka parda jo hai wo hai appearance ka zahir jo hai appearance is often deceptive zahir aksar fareeb zada hota hai appearance is often deceptive zahir hamesha fareeb zada hota hai so this type of screen is seen in the character of charles and also in the character of john these are the two characters who are presented in this play with screens of appearance charles is really very handsome he is he is very beautiful person you can say every girl in the college is after charles when he was a student however he was not a marrying type of person his appearance was simply a screen on his personality he is not he is not a man of good character similarly we have the character of john john appears to be ugly but from the character of point from the point of view of character he is really a good person he is re- really a good person as primrose admits he is not handsome he doesn't broadcast charm but he is a man of good character he is a player of football and he is also a successful businessman so this shows that the appearance of john is again deceptive and is a screen on his personality the second type of screen is the screen of success what appears to be success cannot be success secondly the success of a person depends on his role what the role he is playing if a person is playing the role of a woman the success is different from the success of a man this type of screen is seen in the character of lucy Lucy is a successful business woman as as Susan says you are running a successful business of taxi cab you have beaten men in their game so apparently she is a successful business woman no doubt about that but the woman's success does not depend in the game of men in business her success depends on the role of women and what is the role which lucy is to perform as a woman is that of a wife and that of a mother she is not a successful wife nor a successful mother 
so her success is a screen of smoke on her personality she her success as a business woman cannot be taken as her success because she must be a successful mother she must be a successful woman only then she can become a successful woman but as a wife she has to divorce charles and secondly she couldn't develop her daughter well she is a spoiled girl as she herself admits the third the third type of screen is found in this play is the screen on one's thinking one's thinking can be a screen one thinks that his one's thinking is right but one's thinking cannot be right ek banda sochta hai ki uski soch bilkul theek hai lekin uski soch galat ho sakti hai so a, a thinking thinking can be a screen this type of screen is found in the thinking of lucy and also in the thinking of susan lucy thinks that a woman should be lucy's thinking lucy thinks that a woman should be liberal completely she should have complete liberty she must have unconditional liberty which is a screen on one thinking unconditional liberty is no liberty she even doesn't accept the checks and bounds of marriage she doesn't like husband because he put some boundaries on her which is a screens on one thinking living in a society to have unlimited liberty is not possible living together means having checks and boundaries of others as well similarly there is a screen on the thinking of lucen lucen thinks that a woman should have no liberty this is once again a screen on one one's person one's thinking women should have liberty and liberty enough to take her on the sea and of life so that is why it is also a screen on the thinking of susan the last and the fourth type of screen is the screen of behavior we have uh, sudden behavior and we have permanent behavior the two terms that we can use with reference to this behavior to this uh, screen this screen is seen in the character of primrose primrose represents this type of screen in this play primrose has a screen of behavior she appears rude in the beginning with in the beginning with her behavior with her aunt susan while susan hides her handbag to stop her to go outside she behaves rudely when she comes to know that aunt susan is hiding her hand handbag she behaves rudely and in the end she says sorry to her aunt susan when she says she had to be she had to be rude meaning by it was her sudden behavior when she was not finding her handbag her apparent behavior was that she was becoming rude in reality she says sorry to susan which shows that she is really a good girl she is a woman she is a girl representing good behavior and it is her behavior which was that at that occasion was not permanent and representative of her character so these are the four types of screens which is one of the major themes of this play so one of the major theme of this play is relating to the title and the title is smoke screen meaning by men have screens of smoke on their personality they do not appear what they are in reality so these are the four types of screens which we are which we come across in this play the second major theme of this play is 
generation gap. We have generation gap which is presented in this play. First of all, we have the character of Lucy. Lucy is a liberal minded woman. She is 40 years old. She represents modern generation. She is a representative of modern generation. All the characteristics of her character are representative of modern generation. She has named Lucy, very short name, which is a trend in modern generation, having short, meaningless name. So she has a meaningless name, Lucy, which represents modern generation. Secondly, she loves liberty. She doesn't want anyone to put any limitations on her liberty. She is a liberal minded woman. She is so in favor of liberty of women that even she doesn't like the checks and bounds of marriage. She wants unlimited liberty, unchecked liberty, infinite liberty. She wants unlimited liberty. She doesn't want even the limitations of marriage or wedding. That is why she divorces Charles and runs her own business of taxi cab and has no second marriage. So she is not a marrying type woman due to her, uh, her favorism for liberty. No, not a marrying type woman. She is not a marrying type woman. She likes liberty of women and she is not a marrying type woman. The second character in this play is who, which is totally opposite to the character of Lucy is Susan. She is 50 and sister of Lucy. She has come to live with Lucy for some days and she, her name is representative of Victorian generation, of old generation. She is representative of old generation. She is against liberty of women, against liberty. She doesn't like women's liberty. She thinks in the very first uh, scene of this play, when Primrose is going outside, she tries her level best not to let her go outside. She doesn't want women's going outside at a young age. She thinks that women should remain shut within the four walls of her house and she should not move with men freely or liberally. So she is against liberty of women and she is a marrying type woman, marrying type. She has married and her marriage is very successful. She has two immaculate sons which doesn't love let her hair grow white meaning by she is having a very successful married life and she has come for some donation from her sister lucy however she is totally opposite to lucy lucy stands on one pole whereas susan stands on the opposite pole both susan and lucy are two poles apart they are totally different from each other. They stand on opposite extreme. Lucy stands on one extreme, whereas Susan stands on the other extreme. So they are two poles apart. They are two poles apart, totally different from each other. So we have the third character in this play. It is Primrose and Primrose is, is representative of postmodern generation. She is not an extremist, she is a balanced woman. So postmodern generation is a balanced generation because it thinks about the weaknesses of the modern generation and also the weaknesses of the old generation. Primrose is in favor of liberty. She loves to move among the society and she knows well it is her limitation, it is her need.
to move among the men in the society because she belongs to modern generation living in a city is difficult to remain shut within the four four walls of the house so it is the demand of our society of our time of our city that she should move among other men and have relationship with them so she is in favor of liberty at the same time she knows well if women will not marry human beings or humanity will come to an end so marriage is a necessary thing man cannot live without marriage she knows well so she is in the favor of marriage so we can say that she is a marrying type of woman she understands well that she is like susan in in one way and like lucy in the other way meaning by she has a lot of sense and understanding of both generations of susan and lucy as well so we see that this is how generation gap is presented through these characters and we have conflicts between these characters from the beginning to the end of this play and there is a resolution of these conflict first of all we come across primrose and susi uh, and susan primrose is searching for her handbag and she wants to go outside why is she searching for her handbag susan tries to interrupt she tries that susan should uh, that primrose should stay at home first of all she hides her handbag and she says that uh, uh, she wants to talk to her whereas primro says this is not her evening to listen to the talk of her aunt however when susan finds that primro is not ready to talk to her she pretends had that she pretends had that whereas primro is once again not ready to stay for the sake to look after her aunt susan meaning by she is not ready to stop there at any cost finally she finds her handbag exposed by susan and then she takes the handbags and go outside so this conflict between primrose and susan is in fact susan is in the habit of imposing her will on the character of primrose whereas primrose is is not going to accept any limitation she likes liberty she is in favor of liberty nobody can keep her in the house nobody can keep her she cannot imagine that she should remain shut and read some novels at crampton so she is not going to stay at home and read novels she will have to move in the society as it is the demand of the time it is the demand of the society then we have discussion between lucy and susan and in the discussion the character of susan is exposed and the character of lucy is also exposed and we come to realize through their discussion that lucy married charles for physical handsomeness and the intention of marrying lucy with charles was in fact the appearance charles was handsome and as all the girls were all, all uh, were, were after charles lucy was also one of them and she gets charles the marriage was based upon physical handsomeness so in modern generation the marriage was based on physical handsomeness handsomeness in susan the marriage was there because marriage was necessary whereas primrose is going to marry john because she loves him and he has a very good character so we can say that in post modern generation the basis of marriage is character and love the character of john is good and she loves him also that is why she is going to marry john so finally a friend of primrose comes she introduces her brother who is john he is not handsome and handsome enough 
to attract anyone however primrose falls in love with john and he she falls in love with him because of his character physically he looks like a hippopotamus and he, he his face is like a mug black around and all that physically he is not beautiful at all finally primrose comes and announces that she is going to marry john no she convinces lucy because lucy is not a marrying type of woman and primrose is going to marry charles sorry john primrose is going to marry john no lucy is astonished that she has brought up primrose with the idea that marriage is not a good thing however now primrose talks to lucy and she convinces her mother that john is not like uh, uh, charles he is as different from charles as two men are because john is does not broadcast charm and he is really a good fellow from character point of view finally lucy allows john primrose to marry john and she goes to receive john who comes there at their house and lucy says from behind the screen john if he is not good with his hard daughter she will kill him so in this way finally we find that lucy admits that primrose is right in her decision of marrying and we also find that susan also finds good a goodness in primrose's character so this is how generation gap is presented in this play and you can have a question write a note on the character of lucy we have discussed in the lecture you can have a question write a note on the character of primrose you can have a question write a note on the character of susan these are the three characters and with the help of these three characters we have another theme write a note on generation gap in this play generation gap generation gap this is another question of this play question number 4 you can say and we have discussed a question in the beginning of this lecture discuss the title or discuss the theme of screens of smoke in this play so these are some of the major issues and then finally we have write a note on this play as a comedy and we have many comic episodes we have discussion of susan and primrose in the beginning very comic we have discussion between uh, lucy and susan again comic discussion finally when primrose's friend comes and she introduces john all the introduction of john from the mouth of her from the mouth of his sister is really funny and finally the play ends with a happy ending exposing weaknesses of common human beings so when we sum up all these things it will become a comedy so really thanks to listen shukriya